Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Google AdSense and I'm going to be showing you how to create ads. So the first thing you want to do is log into your Google AdSense account by just going to googleadsense.com and logging in with your Gmail account. Once you're in your AdSense account, what you then want to do is go to My Ads, which is the second link next to the Home Page button. Once you are there, you then want to create a new ad unit by clicking on the New Ad Unit button up in the top left-hand corner. Once you are there, what you then want to do is first, you want to name your ad. So let's name this ad Tutorial Ad 1. Once you have named your ad, you can then go and choose which size you want your ad to be. Now there are a number of different types of ads that you need to be familiar with. The first one is your regular text, rectangle, skyscraper, and banner ad. Then we have your horizontal ads, and then we have vertical ads, we have square ads, and then link units, which are different links within a different specific unit. Now if you want to see what these ads look like, you can go to view examples of ad types and sizes. Once you are there, Google AdSense will show you exactly what the ads look like. Here are text ads. Down here you will see leaderboard ads, which are the ads that have links here and then text to the right. You will see your banner ads and then skyscraper ads, which are good for the side of a page. You'll see your small rectangle, you'll see a small square, and you'll see all of the other different types of ads within Google AdSense. Once you have decided which size ad and type of ad you want to use, you need to go ahead and select it within the ad size panel. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a 250 by 250 square. The next thing is the ad type. Do you want just text? Do you want image and text? Or do you want just image rich media ads only? If you choose text ads, it will only be text. If you do text and image, it'll be image and text mixed. And if you do image and media ads only, it'll be just video or image ads only. So I'm going to do text ads only and then also you'll see a backup ads option here. What that is is if Google doesn't have an ad to provide you can either show a blank space or show other ads from another URL or fill the space with a solid color. I normally choose show blank space just because I don't want it to have any kind of add on there that really has no relation to the content on my web page. So the next thing that you'll see is a custom channel. This right here is just a grouping where you can group the specific ads. If you have multiple websites, you can go ahead and add a channel for each website. The next thing that you're going to see is the different coloring options with each ad. It'll start out by being set to Google default. You will have a classic gray and a few other options. If I change this over to modern white, you will see over here on the right hand side of the page, the ad has now changed to be a different type of ad. Now this is not the only editing that you can do with the visual styling of your ad. You can actually go over here and change the border color by clicking on that color there and clicking on the title color and you can change that. You can actually go in and change the corner style of the ad to be whether you want it to be rounded or whatever you want it to be. You can even change the font family which is the different font styles as well as the font size. I normally leave the size and the family size, the font family the same just because it's a lot easier to do. So once you're done creating your ad, what you then want to do is go to save and get code. Okay, when you click on the save and get code option down here in the bottom, Google will provide you with some HTML code. Click in there one time and it will select all of that code. Go ahead and hit control or command C or right click and then hit copy. Once you have copied it, you are good to go. Now go to your web page or WordPress blog and you can actually paste it in an area where you want the ad to be displayed. Now here when we're back at our My Ads option, you will actually be able to see all of the ads that you yourself have created. You can get the code again, you can view the report for that ad, and you can even edit the ad type. Now again guys, this is a very brief and beginner tutorial on how to create ads within AdSense. If you have any questions on how to go about doing this, feel free to put them in the comment box below. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button below and help me out. And if you want more great content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.